Today's book had me at a loss for words when I finished it. It was heavy, it was deep, it was emotional, and I just needed to let it sink in. This is definitely a book you do not want to miss. Come back over to the intro and we'll talk more about it. I went down to the crossroads. What's up everybody, my name is Brad and today I'm back with another book review for you guys and I'm going to be talking about Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. Last year in 2019, I read Laurel's debut novel, Whispers in the Dark. I'll put a link to that review up in the corner. As much as I liked that book, you always hear about a sophomore slump. Well, that's definitely not the case with Crossroads. I dare say I even liked and loved this book more than I did Whispers in the Dark but maybe liked and loved aren't the best words to use to describe this. Uh, this book hurts and you're not supposed to enjoy and like things that cause you pain and that cause you hurt. But the writing, it was top notch. The story is so compelling. You feel for the characters in this book. You just can't help but to like it, even though you might not enjoy it, if that makes sense. I said that this book, it left me at a loss for words. Uh, the best way I can describe this, even though it sounds cliche, is that Crossroads is a roller coaster ride of emotions that definitely had more downs than ups. Like I said, this book is going to hurt when you read it. Especially if you are a parent, you're going to get smacked right in the feels while reading this book. I'm a father myself, and I cannot imagine what it would be like to lose a child, but as much as I love my children, I will never have that same special emotional shared connection and bond that a mother has with her child. The creation of life, having that life grow and live and move inside of you is just something that I will never be able to experience. Uh, in this book, we're following Chris and a few years prior to the events of this book, Chris's life was utterly destroyed when she received the devastating news that her son was killed in a tragic car accident. The things that make parents' nightmares come true. After this happens, you know, Chris's world is just completely shattered and no matter what she does, she's never going to be able to pick those pieces up and put them back together again. A child should be a parent's whole life and to lose that child, that life, just crumbles to dust and ruin, and it might not really be worth living after that. A parent should never have to bury their child. So the story here, uh, Chris is at the roadside memorial of her son. She happens to cut her finger and some blood falls down onto the ground where the roadside memorial is. And later, Chris is shocked to find out that her son is paying her a nightly visit. But is it really her son or is it something more sinister masquerading looking like her son, feeding upon and preying upon her emotions and her grief? Or maybe Chris is so overcome with heartbreak that her mind is fabricating hallucinations to help ease her pain. Whatever it is, whatever she's seeing, whatever she's encountering, it needs more. The question is, how much more is Chris willing to give? You always hear a parent say that they would be willing to do anything for their child. But what does anything really mean? How far would you really be able and willing to go to sacrifice and do something for your child? That's the slippery slope that we find Chris on, and it seems like she might be losing her footing. This book will break you. 
This book will linger in your thoughts and just worm its way into your mind and have you thinking about it long after you've turned the final page. Beautifully poignant, beautifully poignant and utterly heart-wrenching, a powerfully haunting tale of how grief can be an all-consuming beast from which you are unable to rend yourself free of. Crossroads by Laurel Hightower wraps its clutches around your emotions and squeezes you for every last drop. By the end, you'll be shocked, hurt, upset, exhausted, and hollow inside. If an author can make you feel all these emotions, they're definitely doing something right in my book. Laurel Hightower, she's a strong and bold new voice in horror fiction that's just screaming to be heard, and I, for one, am here to listen. Uh, if you can't tell, I absolutely loved this book, even though loved might not be the right word for it. Uh, give it all the stars, five out of five. Give it 10 stars, 15 stars, whatever you want to give it. Um, I do want to mention that this is the first book that has been put out by Off Limits Press. Um, Off Limits Press is a new imprint that is owned and operated by Samantha Klesnick. You've heard me talk about her on the channel before. I read her debut novella, True Crime, at the beginning of this year. She just edited the um, Worst Laid Plans anthology from Grindhouse Press. I did a review on that. Really enjoyed that as well. Uh, so Samantha seems to be kicking butt and taking names. And I cannot wait to see what Laurel Hightower has in store for us next. I also can't wait to see what Off Limits Press puts out next. If they're putting out things like this left and right, then they are definitely going to be on everyone's watch list uh, for an up-and-coming new press. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Again, I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was draining and emotional and just heart-wrenching. But it's a wonderful story that I think people should read. And I just can't get enough of it. I'm going to have to read this one again. It is short. It was just barely 100 pages or so, uh, 110 pages. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.